Hi everyone, this is Peter here. Today I'm going to show you a series of shots I captured of a tiny garden jumping spider with some disability. All the images were taken with my Canon 80D, the Canon 100mm macro lens and the Nisi 58mm close-up lens which provides you with a maximum magnification of about 2x. If you'd like to know why I really like this lens then feel free to check out my in-depth review. I will leave a link in the description. Let's have a look at this series of macros now and I will also briefly describe the genus as well. I encountered this male garden jumping spider while I was searching for subjects on the succulents in our garden. This particular genus is very common in gardens and backyards here in Australia and I usually found hunting on foliage during the day. They are medium sized and their coloration can vary from brown to vibrant orange with interesting patterns throughout the body. I especially like the unique patterns on the abdomen of many species belonging to this genus. The larger spiders such as this one are usually darker in color. Also the males have slender abdomen and considerably larger pedipalps than females. They tend to be quite bold and inquisitive. Even this one managed to jump onto my lens once while I was taking this series. They are extremely skilled hunters, they can even capture flying targets, but these tiny ambush predators usually pounce on their victim, jumping from a higher leaf onto a lower leaf. I only noticed that this poor little male had lost three of his right legs when I was tracking his movement from above, and for example in this close-up shot, you can see that only the first basal segment, the coxa remained intact on his three truncated front legs. Apparently, most spiders are capable of regrowing lost limbs if they are not fully mature. This can happen through cycles of molting. Unfortunately, I think in this little fellow's instance, the amputation is most likely permanent because in my opinion, he would have been a fully grown adult, but hopefully I'm wrong. In these next few shots, you can see that it started fiddling with the drag lines that jumping spiders use for safety before launching themselves into the air. He also anchored himself with a drag line just before leaping onto my lens. I also really liked these lower magnification shots so one can see how tiny they are. He was putting on quite a performance on the tip of this spiky succulent. The very last shot was taken at the maximum magnification ratio of 2 to 1 and I was really happy with the sharpness and the level of detail. You could clearly see even the reflection of my diffuser in his huge beady eyes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video then you might also want to check out these next. Also don't forget to subscribe and see you all very soon in the next one. Thank you.